How did I quit my safe engineering job to end up making more money in my own businesses and how can you do the same? In this video, I'm going to break down exactly how I did it and the steps that you need to take in order to be successful going from 9 to 5 to being a business owner. If you don't know me, my name is Sergio. Me and Johnny actually run a portfolio of home service companies that do over 7 figures a year and we also have the Home Service Academy where we help people start and scale their own home service businesses. So step one is assess your own personal situation and determine you know, what skills do you have that you can transfer over to a business that will set you up for success. Just a little background about me. So me and Johnny actually started a window cleaning business in college when I was 19 years old. Now fast forward to 2020, I graduated college with a civil engineering degree and I decided, you know, why not try it out because I got a degree in it. I got an offer for 70K plus benefits and all that and at the time it was the most money I ever made. And so I was really excited to do that. But then two months in I realized it wasn't for me and I wanted to go back to being a full-time business owner. So my situation was I didn't have a ton of expenses and I already had a cash flowing business that I could take an income from. Now it was going to be a significant pay cut from the engineering job at the time, but I had the vision and the ability to see that I was going to be making more money in the long run. So that was my situation. You know, I already had the skills to run the window cleaning business and it was already somewhat established. Now that leads me to step two, which is how much risk are you willing to take? So like I said, I didn't have a lot of overhead in my personal life, so I was able to take that pay cut and still be fine. But I know some people have family, they have kids that they need to take care of, and they have commitments. So sometimes that's not the most reasonable thing for you to do. Now for most people, I would recommend that they actually start the business on the side of their nine to five because that's going to de decrease your risk by a lot. Sometimes it takes a few months to get a business off the ground starting from scratch. So that means it's gonna take a few months for you to take a salary from that. So unless you have you know, a ton of money in your savings account, AMs in my bank account that you don't care to blow through, you know, like I would recommend you start the business on the side because you, you have a few hours after your nine to five every night on the weekends to be able to work on that business. So it's not going to hurt to do that in your free time. Now step three is assessing what is the type of lifestyle that you want to be living. So why are you quitting your nine to five? Is it because you don't like your boss? You don't like the time schedule that you're on? Is it just because you have always wanted to start a business? You need to figure out what is that why and then figuring out what type of lifestyle you want to have because there's some businesses that are more time intense where you're going to need to put in, you know, 50, 60, 70 hours a week. And then on the flip side, there's some businesses where you don't need to put in that many hours. And then location wise also, there's some businesses you can do from home and there's some businesses where you need to be there. So you need to figure out what type of lifestyle you want to be living and also use that to determine what kind of business you want to be running. For example, at first, I was doing the window cleaning business and that had employees, I had jobs locally, and we also had a yard slash office where we would meet up. So that means that I had to be there. At the time, we didn't have a general manager or anything, so that was more my role. But now fast forward to now, we've actually switched the business model so that we're using contractors instead of employees. We, we don't need to utilize that yard the way we did before, so I can really work from wherever I want. Now, one of the biggest reasons we chose to change over to this model is because that was the type of lifestyle we wanted to be living. We didn't want to be tied to a location. We wanted to be able to work from wherever we want, whether that's from home, that's the office, or that's another country. Now, step four is asking yourself, how much money am I willing to invest from your own money to start this business? There's two different types of businesses and one requires more labor and one requires more cash. The example I like to use is the car wash. So you can have a drive through car wash where it does all the work for you, but that system and that whole build out is going to cost you maybe 50 to 100 grand. On the flip side, you could have a car wash 
where you have people doing all of the car washing. And that's not gonna cost you really that much money up front, but it's gonna cost you, you know, a lot of labor. So you need to determine how much money you're willing to invest in the company. That will kind of help you determine what kind of business you wanna start. For example, a home service business, very cheap to start. We started a window cleaning business with $150. We started a made business with less than $1,000. So these are great businesses to start if you know you don't have a ton of capital, but you have the time to be able to work on them. Now lastly, step five. You gotta ask yourself, why am I doing this? Your why and your purpose is pretty big when it comes to starting your business because a lot of people fail to have the right purpose and end up failing because they realize that you know business is too hard for them or they, it's just not for them. I didn't know I wanted to be an entrepreneur slash business owner, whatever you wanna call it. I just knew that I was in college and I couldn't find a job, so we were like, let's start a business. Now throughout the process, it wasn't easy at all, but it was fun because you know I was doing business with my friend. We were just figuring things out as we went and we realized in the process that we actually love running our own businesses. Now today, my why is because I love having freedom of time. I love being able to choose my own schedule and be able to make you know as much money as I want, not capped by a salary that you would get at a company. I understand that business isn't all rainbows and butterflies. You know, there's some days that are going to be really crappy days and there's gonna be things that pop up that you wish didn't happen, but you know, it's all part of the process and at the end of the day, when it comes to business, you gotta have that persistence to keep on going Focus. and be willing to make sacrifices to make sure that your business is working. So if you made it this far and you're actually gonna quit your nine to five to start a business, I'm rooting for you and just know that we have a ton of content about business, home service businesses, and just how to succeed. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video, peace.